join us in a great dream, an American dream, a dream without end. First for the coming decade, for the 1990s, space station freedom, our critical next step in all our space endeavors, and next for the new century, back to the moon, back to the future, and this time back to stay. And then, and then a journey into tomorrow, a journey to another planet, a manned mission to Mars. Each, each mission should and will lay the groundwork for the next. And the pathway to the stars begins as it did 20 years ago with you, the American people, to chart a new and continuing course to the moon and Mars and beyond. planet Mars holds special places in the destiny of mankind. Leading the way in visionary space initiatives, the United States is developing the stepping stone missions to explore and study the Earth, Moon, and Mars on an unprecedented scale. Development of advanced transportation systems will be required to make the planned lunar and interplanetary missions possible. Technologies such as cryogenic propellant storage and transfer, aerobraking, and on-orbit spacecraft construction will be developed in support of a lunar base and then reapplied to Mars missions. Space Station Freedom will serve as a base of operations for on-orbit assembly and integration of large spacecraft such as the Lunar Transfer Vehicle. Advances in robotics and teleoperation will make the on-orbit assembly of large spacecraft possible. Vehicle subassemblies ferried from Earth will be assembled using intelligent robot arms. Once assembled, the spacecraft will be ready to receive its payload and crew to establish a permanent manned colony on the moon. A manned lunar colony will not only provide a rich base for research and exploration of our nearest neighbor, but will also act as the proof of concept laboratory for the expeditions to Mars. On the moon, humans will learn to be self-sustaining in a hostile, airless, low-gravity environment. Lessons learned there will pave the way for the first long-term missions on the Martian surface. What follows is an example mission designed for the first journey by humans to Mars. All engines running. Launch commit. The first step begins with the liftoff of a heavy lift launch vehicle with a large diameter shroud that places into Earth orbit the major components of the Mars spaceship. Using teleoperation, a duplicate of Space Station Freedom's large robot arm assembles the components. First, a tunnel is mated to the central hub. Transferring to another powered grapple point, the robot arm retrieves a habitat module and mates it to the far end of the tunnel. Repeating this process completes the manned portion of the vehicle.
subsequent launches bring a propellant for the dry stages and the Transmars propulsion unit. Finally, a shuttle is launched and docks to transfer the five flight crew members to their spaceship. Using periodic firings, the Mars vehicle orbits higher and higher above the Earth. With the final engine burn, the journey begins. missions to Mars are unlike any previous space explorations. The round-trip mission can take almost three years. With such an extended period in zero gravity, the muscles, organs, and bones of the astronauts will progressively weaken. To protect against these undesirable medical effects, artificial gravity is created by spinning the spaceship. At three revolutions per minute, the artificial gravity is equivalent to the lunar surface. At four and a half RPM, the force is the same as Mars, about 40% of Earth's gravity. The Mars transfer vehicle containing the crew propulsively captures into orbit and then rendezvous with the lander vehicle. After transferring three crew members, the lander separates from the mother ship and fires its deorbit engines. Entering the thin Martian atmosphere at 10,000 miles per hour, the lander is slowed first by aerobrake, then parachutes. Guided by a radio beacon on the robotic rover that surveyed the landing site, the lander is steered to the pre-planned touchdown spot, perhaps targeted just miles from the cliffs of the Great Martian Canyon, Valles Marineris. On the surface, the Mars explorers secure their spaceship and erect solar power arrays. They quickly reconnoiter the nearby terrain on foot to obtain samples and test their ability to move around and navigate in this foreign land. Wider exploration to distant geological features require the aid of a mobile habitat, a pressurized rover that the astronauts drive and live in for days at a time. The astronauts search for lava and other igneous rocks to understand the volcanic and crustal history of the planet. Burned from the trans-Earth injection stage, places the crew on an elliptical trajectory around the Sun and back to Earth. During the return trip, the spin rate of the Mars transfer vehicle is gradually increased to reacclimate the astronauts to the gravity of home. Shortly before arrival at Earth, the spaceship is despun and the astronauts enter the crew recovery vehicles. The small crew cabs aerobrake through the Earth's atmosphere and capture into low Earth orbit for rendezvous with space station freedom. The flight crew transferred to the space shuttle for the return to Earth. 
Meanwhile, their mother spaceship has been captured into a higher orbit for the next mission to Mars. For this is only the beginning. Humans will someday live and work on Mars, as well as the Moon. And mankind will have taken its next giant step into the future, along the pathway to the stars. <laughs>